This is unit three, week three, question number four, part A. What's the legacy of Andrew Jackson? A lot. The People's President, new political party, the Democratic Party, new organization, new populist appeal, the man of the masses, supporting more people participating. Anyways, one of his major crises happened as president and it dealt with the nullification crisis. What happened? South Carolina. By the way, John Jackson's vice president was John C. Calhoun from South Carolina. South Carolina said, we will not pay this high tariff. Congress raised the tariff, the cost of imported goods, to raise money for the government. But South Carolina thought it was unfair, it was unconstitutional. How did Congress have the right to do this? Besides, the Southerners all produced raw material, cotton by this time. They're exporting it. They're buying all their imported goods from England, overseas, other countries. So a tariff hits the South really, really hard. They have to, um, it makes for, foreign goods more expensive. Of course, in the North of the United States, it also makes foreign goods more expensive. But a higher tariff tax on foreign goods also is a protective tariff. It means that the nascent early factories and things being produced in New England in the north, which was not a lot, but they would be encouraged because any goods made at home would not have the tariff. But a foreign good that was competing would have an artificial tax to make it more expensive. So people would buy the more American good. South Carolina was furious. They threatened to withdraw from the United States. This is very similar to Thomas Jefferson and his idea of that the Kentucky and Virginia resolutions that a state could nullify a federal law. South Carolina was about, Jackson was in, angry beyond all imagination. He said, I will use the U.S. Army. People took him seriously. This was the guy that was Mr. Militant, military hero. I will send the army into South Carolina to make them follow this congressional law. Think about it. If Congress passes a law and one state ignores it, we don't have a union. You have a civil war. This is kind of foreshadowing of the Civil War. At the last second, Congress agreed, lowered the tariff. South Carolina accepted the slightly higher but lower than it was tariff. The South Carolina State Assembly canceled their ordinance of nullification. They canceled their law to ignore the federal law. And a constitutional crisis and possible civil war was avoided. But the same issue is going to pop up in 1861, when guess who secedes first from the Union? That same state, South Carolina. So a threat over the cost of foreign taxes and whether Congress had the right to impose that on the state, and could a state ignore federal government, state versus national power, it's going to go right into the crisis that leads to the Civil War. And that's this from some guy in a Aloha print shirt.